Northup Golf Club in North Wales is a parkland course and starts with a par 5. So the aim of the day is to try and break 80 as I know the course pretty well and also is in really good condition. Our opening tee shot was in play down the right but this second shot was a kind of a hook shot. It's gone left. Third shot is a miss hit that goes f forward back into the fairway. First top of the day. <laughs> it's a really tough opening hole this one at North, all uphill, playing much longer than the yardage. We have approached the green around 100 yards with a pitching wedge. It's hit right on line. Yeah, really good. It's right by the flag, I think. <laughs> hit really well. Can just about see the pitch mark there. And we have a chance to save par now with a six footer pretty level. Let's see if we can make this one. And it had the line, but I just forgot to hit it. And we tap in card a bogey on the opening hole, which is still a good start to the round. Hole two is a par three, around 170 yards. Place uphill slightly. And we leak the tee shot out to the right with a hybrid. End up in a very bad place in this greenside bunker. And yeah, the bunkers are just the only thing that's not in good condition at oh, Northup. There's not much sand in that bunker, so kind of bladed it through the green. We have a delicate greenside chip here that goes okay. And we have a chance to save bogey with a four and a half footer downhill, this one. And the putt drops right in the middle of the hole. We card another bogey and just about keep the momentum going. Hole three is a really nice par four, dog leg to the right. And we make a really good swing with the driver. Definitely caught all of that one. And the ball goes right down the middle. High launch that one. Oh, it's in the fairway, what a hit that was. <laughs> so just a flick in with a sandwich to the green. Doesn't go so well. I think that took this shot for granted here. Well, it's heavy that, it lost distance. It's just thinking about a birdie, the birdie chance. You know, sometimes you think ahead of yourself. And then we have a third shot here around 30 yards. We end up just under five foot away. And the putt drops and the first part of the day goes on the scorecard. First part of the day. <laughs> and just a quick announcement, I'm going to be abroad for the whole of the winter. So there's going to be no UK vlog golf vlogs being posted, but I am playing golf abroad. So if you'd like to see content from abroad, then leave a like on the video. And it tells me that I'll, I'll make some vlogs where I'm living. Hole falls a short par four, it plays uphill slightly. And we make another good swing with a driver and the tee shot finds the fairway around 200 yards. So just a pitching wedge into the green, happy to have that club in hand. And we get our first green in regulation of the day. That's a good divot for me that one. It's just on the front edge of the green. This is 60 foot up two uh, ridges, steps. So we're in three putt territory here definitely. Having to go up these uh, tiers in the green. And the birdie putt slides by to the right. I had to get it on the top ridge there. And we missed a six footer for par. Hit the flag there actually. Not sure what happened. We tap in for a three putt bogey and hole four. Hole five is a short par four, dog leg to the right. And our tee shot with a hybrid finds the fairway. So we're in prime position here to hit the green with this eight iron. It's slightly uphill this shot and that's what happens. Yeah, it's on the green. It's got a long way right though. It's going to be a long birdie putt this one. 
So it's quite a long putt for birdie here, 40 foot. It goes okay, better, much better than the previous hole, that lag putt. And we tap in for the easy par on hole 5. Hole 6 is a simple par 3 up the hill. Playing slightly shorter on the GPS yardage on this day. And we hit a really mediocre shot and missed the green short right. So we have a greenside pitch here that nearly drops. <laughs> wow, amazing shot that one. Couldn't have done much better than that if I tried 20 times. Really happy with that. And we tap in for a second easy par in a row. Solid golf. Hole 7 is Drogan next two, hardest hole on the front nine. And we hit the drive slightly to the right, but it's still in play. Yeah, that's fine. It's 162, just going to hit the 26 degree hybrid just to get it there. Hopefully get it on, get a putt for birdie. We have an outside chance to hit the green in two here with the 26 degree hybrid. And that's what happens. Right on line, I can't see how close it is. It might be really close to the flag now. So after a great birdie on the seventh hole, we're flying, and this hole eight is a gettable par five. It's all downhill, this par five, that's why it's so gettable. And the layup with the hybrid here goes really well. Look at the ball mark, right in the middle. Uh, if I can make a birdie here, this will be the first time ever I've had two birdies in a row. Never had it before in my life. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> so just a wedge in hand to get the birdie chance here. But somehow we end up in the greenside bunker. Don't know what happened there. This is about 16 yards. Uh, I can still make this for a birdie. So fourth shot here, at least it's out of the bunker, that's one good thing. We have around a 30 footer from the, just off the green. It slides by the hole, six foot past. And that from looking for a birdie, we're looking to salvage a bogey. And the putt drops and somehow we keep the momentum going on the front nine. Right in the middle of the hole that one. Hole 9 to par 4 dog leg to the left. And we hit another great drive over 200 yards that finds the fairway and we're in prime position again. This 8 iron here was hit slightly heavy. Losing distance and we missed the green short by a long way. A 20 yard pitch to the hole here. I do pace out, out these chips to put the camera behind it. it, goes really well. And we have just under a four footer to save par. And the putt drops, and we got a really nice par to end the front nine. Now they're really good up and down there. <laughs> so the front nine score was 39, three over. Uh, started quite averagely with two bogeys, and then just hit fire, and then the two following bogeys were both mistakes by me yeah I could have been level par for the next seven holes playing really well and on course for breaking 80 let's see how we get on at the back nine at Northup Golf Club hole 10 is a short but tricky dog leg to the right par 4 and it's a terrible shot off the tee a snap hook to the left I think that's uh, wet that <laughs> So playing a professional here, not good news. 
and then provisionals in play down the right but it was a lost ball in the water the original one so it's a fourth shot here with a 7-9 and it's a mistake here I should have dropped at the water hazard yeah I don't know why I was playing the provisional off the tee another heavy one so definitely a, a faux pas by me so fifth shot here 55 foot lag putt yeah it should always drop at the hazard that's one of my rules on my Abigail video so I don't know why I did that I think it was kind of you want to correct the the bad shot that you've made so I think it was something to do with that so I have the three footer here for the double bogey and it slides by to the left and wouldn't you know it and uh, yeah so we lost three shots on the front nine and we lost three shots on one hole on the back nine golf's a funny old game that was a 55 footer and I just missed a 3 footer there <laughs> and things are not getting easier hole 11 is struggling next one hardest hole on the course a double dog leg par 5 really tough hole this one yeah that looks pretty perfect and the tee shot found the fairway in a good position here and the layup goes well as well and we're in an ideal position to hit the green from 130 yards. And there's another chunky one. <laughs> yeah, I just wasn't very impressed with that shot, I think. We have a 50 yard partial wedge shot here. We just hit right on line. <laughs> really good. <laughs> short game saving me today. Uh, strolling up to the green, ball's right beside the flag, couldn't have played that much better if I uh, tried like 50 times I think. And we tap in for the easy par that feels like a birdie. Hole 12, the so par 4 dog leg to the right and it's a really tricky hole this one. I sort of look at all the mature trees and we end up getting blocked out. It's 111 uphill, 100 to the front edge. Uh, pins at the front. I've got to go over this tree so I'm just going to hit it to the left side of the green. 9-iron. We had a chance to hit the green in two but we ended up thinning the 9-iron straight into the tree. But luckily it dropped down and we had a shot at the green, weren't blocked out. For the third shot here. Uphill. It's on the green. And thumbs up we're on the green in three and we have a chance an unlikely chance to save par with a six footer uphill it just stopped short and uh, yeah that would have been a really good par that one <laughs> I'd have enjoyed that one but yeah anyway taking the bogey is not too bad there all things considered hole 13 is a short par 4 and we hit our worst tee shot of the day just a scuff shot low to the left, uh, but luckily still in play. Just hitting a low, it's two on fire, just hitting a low hook with the, the hybrid. So from a tough position here, we hit another miss hit, but luckily it just trundles onto the fairway. And we're left with around 140 yard approach shot into the green, going with a six iron. This six iron was hit right on line. A really nice sound. And strolling up to the green. Yeah, I just can't believe my eyes how close this ended up. What a six iron. Unbelievable. Yeah, just shaking my head on that one. Yeah, no pictures on the scorecard. Hole 14 is a par 3 that plays slightly short on the GPS yardage. Let's go with the 6 iron again. I was trying to repeat the magic of the previous hole, but we missed the green short left. We chip one on that ends up 4 foot away. Happy with that one. And we hold the 4 footer. Another par goes on the scorecard. They're up and down. <laughs> I 
Hole 15 is a nice par 5. It's one of my favourite holes. I always seem to do well on it. I birdied it a couple of times in the past. I'm hit an amazing drive over 250 yards. It finds a fairway. Second shot here. It's a little bit ropey. It's hit off to the left. But luckily it stays in play, the layup. Yeah, that's fine. It's a really dodgy lie that. I was the I was, um, hanging lie, I think. Right after. So we're birdie hunting again with a wedge in hand. Let's see how close we can get this one. And this approach shot is a total miss hit. <laughs> it's totally bladed through the green. And we end up in a terrible position at the back of the green, impeded by some branches. So we just stab one out from about 22 yards away. Oh, I paced it out to 22 yards, so yeah, that went really well. We have a five footer to save par. And yeah, what was I doing there? Just overread the putt massively. And we card the bogey, which could have been much better. And yeah, this is the one that I should have. <laughs> it always goes in the second time. Hole 16 is a signature hole at Northup Golf Club, a really nice par 4, dog leg to the left. We had a great drive, nearly 230 yards. That's pretty much perfect. <laughs> and if you're enjoying the content on this channel, then subscribe on behalf of this great cormorant, which graced us with its presence. It's 147 uphill to a white flag, so it pins at the back. It's like 160 to the back. Uh, just going to hit the 26 degree hybrid, just a smooth one, just to get it there. We have a chance to hit the green in two, but unfortunately, this approach shot was hit heavy and it went straight in the drink. Right, dig it, dug into the ground, went in the water. So I just drop one down and play another one. And of course it goes on the green the second time. Yep. Yeah, that's on the green. <laughs> and yeah, I should have got relief again here from the, the hazard. Like the I need to watch my own videos, the Abigaly video. That tells you always drop from the hazard, always get relief from a hazard if you hit it one in the so we have a fifteen footer now for a bogey. I think the adrenaline was going on that putt as it goes racing by. No chance of breaking 80 now, it's gone. We can still finish the round strongly. And the five footer for a double bogey goes in the hole. We avoid a second triple on the back nine. Hole 17 is probably the easiest of the par threes in my opinion in Northup. Go with the seven iron and the tee shot finds the green. It's another birdie putt coming up. It's a 30 footer uphill, meaning we can hit it harder and go right at it. Let's see if we can make this one. And it lips out, so close with that. Started it, hit a really good putt there actually. And we tap in for the easy par on hole 17. I, did, I do practice my putting before every round and sometimes it just pays off, you get you got you're on fire you just have the pace of the greens which i did on this day for the most part hole 18 is probably the toughest par four on the whole course we leak our drive out to the right just smashing the hybrid here not trying to get it on the green just trying to get it as close as possible it's a good shot goes around 190 yards Leaves us with a an okay shot with the greenside pitch here. And a chance to save par on this very tough par four. Don't think I've ever parred this hole before. And we hit another good putt for pace, but we just didn't have the line. Still haven't parred this hole. And we tap in for the bogey on the final hole. For a score of 83, 11 over. So we're trying to break 80, get to 79. And uh, yeah, we got pretty close, but we didn't do it. 
and the front nine was really good but it was on course to break 80 but the back nine just the two blow up holes yeah just should be taking relief from both shots in the water and yeah just played but really played some really fun golf i really enjoyed this round and uh, it was a bit of a roller coaster with all the up and downs and i i don't know if anyone has noticed but i slightly changed my greenside chipping and pitching technique and it really paid dividends today i've, I've been putting a bit of practice in with it and i think i might make a video on my new technique and what's helping me to get the ball so close but yeah definitely glad i changed it as i it was kind of that my scrambling has been very a weak part of my game so i've worked on it a bit the course northup was really good again today a really good greens and good condition apart from the bunkers which is always kind of a weak part but it's 18 pound around at twilight rate which is very fair price to pay i think to play here and for some reason all my rounds at northup i seem to score well on so i think the course just suits my game really well and I'm looking forward to playing there again in the future. And a lot of my audience is UK based, so if you do want to see a golf vlog from abroad, then uh, leave a like on the video and I'll start posting them. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoy playing and making it. And see you on the next one. Signing off. <laughs>